The human ear is mainly classified into three groups. They are outer ear, middle ear, inner ear. Click each tab to know more. Outer ear. The outer portion of the ear is called pinna. It is the visible part of the ear present on either side of our head. Pinna does not play any role in maintaining the sound balance. Pinna collects sound from the surroundings and passes them through the auditory canal to the ear drum. The pinna is crumpled and is made up of cartilage. It leads to the ear canal. Ear canal is a tube-like pipeline that connects the outside of the ear to the ear drum. You might have observed some wax-like substances in your ear. Where do you think these substances come from? Pinna has ceruminous and sebaceous glands which produce wax and oily substances respectively. These substances help to keep the ear canal lubricated. They prevent dust and other particles from entering into the ear canal. The ear canal is also called auditory meters. A thin layer called eardrum or tympanum is present at the end of the auditory meters or auditory canal. Eardrum is situated between the external ear and the middle ear. Eardrum is in a conical shape. The narrow area of the eardrum connects to the first bone malleus of the middle ear. We know that the sound wave consists of compressions and rarefactions. When the compressions of the sound medium reaches the eardrum, the pressure on the outside of the membrane increases and forces the eardrum inwards. In the same way, when the rarefactions of the sound medium reaches the eardrum, the eardrum moves outward. Thus, the eardrum vibrates. These vibrations pass to the middle ear. Middle ear Middle ear plays an important role in amplifying the vibrations caused by the eardrum. Middle ear has three bones. They are malleus, incus and stapes. These bones amplify the vibrations of the eardrum many times. These sound vibrations from the middle ear are transferred to the inner ear through an oval window. This window is the cover ending of the middle ear. It opens into the inner ear through a round window. Inner ear. Inner ear has a bony labyrinth enclosing the membranous labyrinth. The membranous labyrinth is made up of vestibule, three semicircular canals, and cochlea. The vestibule has an anterior part and a posterior part. The anterior part is called saculus, and the posterior part is called utriculus. The nerve fibers from these parts form the vestibular nerve. The semicircular canals are connected to the vestibule and filled with endolymph. The vestibule and three semicircular canals together form the vestibular apparatus. The vestibular apparatus maintains the equilibrium of the body, pertaining to the posture and balance of the body. Cochlea is a spiral-shaped structure. It consists of three parallel tubes named scala vestibuli, scala media, and scala tympani. Scala vestibuli and scala media are separated by a membrane called vestibular membrane. The scala media and scala tympani are separated by a membrane called basilar membrane. Both the scala vestibuli and scala tympani are filled with perilymph, while the scala media is filled with endolymph. Scala media contains organs of catti and tiny cells called primary sensory cells. 
cochlear nerve fibers form the cochlear nerve. The vestibular and cochlear nerves combine together to form the auditory nerve. Cochlear turns the pressure variations of the sound waves into electrical signals. These electrical signals are passed to the brain through the auditory nerve. The brain interprets these signals as sound. 